for our lazy Sunday beef bourguignon, these are the ingredients you're going to need. So like I said, these are all supermarket things you can get around the corner to your local supermarket. The most important, the beef, I'm using a chuck casserole steak, it's very important, and the beef just has to be used for stew. I'm using here a Pinot Noir, that's quite important to give a nice taste, it's like a Burgundy type of wine type of grapes and a good quality stock also of the shelf. All the ingredients are in the video description. This should be also showing up on the screen and roughly what I'm showing is enough to make a beef bourguignon for four people. I really like stews. I mean the stew is really the perfect recipe for the lazy man. You know there's not much to do which is really really good. So of course the first step always the food prep. Huh? You prepare all your food before you start cooking. So this is all my ingredients. Most important before you even start cutting your stuff you're gonna preheat your oven at 240 degrees Celsius or around 450 Fahrenheit because we're gonna be cooking that stew in the oven. So always do that before otherwise you're gonna forget. Now for the prep very simple, I've touched nothing. Everything has to be kind of diced. So the bacon has to be in little cubes. I've got one carrot and one onion in little cubes. The meat as well in manageable cubes, about 50 grams per piece. And I've got here my pickling onion that we're going to caramelize. I've just peeled them. And the only fancy thing I've done here is a mix of parsley and garlic that I pass in a food processor that I'm going to mix with butter to make a garlic and herb butter to serve with my potatoes, but that's about it. Now, additionally, if you want, but that's optional, you can take a bit of red wine just to actually taste your wines. I'm gonna... Mm. It's a Pinot. It's a French wine. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad. So that kind of gives me a bit of motivation. Okay, so let's get started and let's get on the stove to start this recipe. The first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your stock and put it in a small pan like that on medium heat bring it to the boil, let it reduce a little bit. Same thing for the wine. Eh? You put it in a pan, bring it to the boil, and then we're gonna let it reduce a little bit. What you can do also, if there's too much alcohol in your wine, you can flambe. So you take an, like a lighter and, yeah. You won't see the flame on here, but basically all the alcohol content is gonna be burned by the flame. That's to make sure there's not too much alcohol in your wine. When that's done, you're going to put it on the back stove and we're going to start the meat. We're now ready to cook our meat. Now, you take your pieces of meat in oil, a little bit, not too much, and we're just going to color them gently on a medium, medium to high heat. Now, I can hear the voices already in my head <laughs> going like, he's not marinating the meat in the red wine. That's not a beurre bourguignon at all. Well, let me tell you that in France, we don't always marinate the meat because in a family you just don't have the time and it's perfectly fine to make your meat without marinating. When your pieces are nice and brown like that, as you can see here, you turn them over. Eh? So one of the tips I can give is like, do not kind of Turn your meat all the time, let it sear nicely before you turn them. You see to get that nice color. Because we want to make a crust that's going to seal the juices of the meat inside. My meat is done, I put it on the side and I'm now going to pour in basically my onion and my diced carrot. We're only doing this to get all of these juices kind of off the bottom of the pan and you just get it, let it sweat in here just for a few minutes and try to reduce the heat as well, you don't want to burn anything. Eh? It's nice to have a bit of brownish color like that but don't go over the top. Okay, looking good, just a few minutes, you see my pan is nice and clean, it's not burned, it's time to add your meat back in and you give the whole casserole a little stir just to mix the carrots and the onions nicely together. Now comes an important moment. You're gonna take your 30 grams of flour and you're gonna sprinkle it over your meat. Okay, so don't be too shy, you don't want too much flour. It's around 25 grams, 30 grams kind of flour, but you can play it with the eye. I like to see, you know, when it looks nice and neat. 
and from here basically I'm gonna take my pan and put it in the oven to actually toast my flour and I'm gonna leave it in the oven for like four to five minutes on really really high heat and then bring it back on the stove after a few minutes in the oven you take your dish out like this and you get a little bit of color on the flour if you don't get too much color it's not a problem and what you're gonna do here is make sure you first stir your flour with the juices uh, so you're gonna get that kind of roux consistency and that's what is making basically the base of the the sauce this is how it's gonna thicken all right it's a really a home dish this nothing super complicated when you're here you add your stock okay all over here you then add as well your lovely wine that's reducing on the side okay make sure the juices don't go over the meats you know so this is the maximum you should have as you can see here do not drown your meat that's always the guideline always have the liquid just above the pieces of meat like this you're sure it's gonna be fine from here two cloves of garlic a supermarket bouquet garni in there and to finish a bit of salt a bit of pepper I'm gonna give it a last tear and I'm gonna put this back in the oven so you're gonna cook this with the lid on you're gonna reduce your oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 420 Fahrenheit and you're gonna slowly cook that dish for two to two and a half hours in the oven making sure you check it from time to time to make sure the liquid is not evaporating too much in which case you can add a little bit of wine so now that the stew is basically cooking slowly in the oven, we've got plenty of time to make the garnish. So I'm showing you now, but just make the garnish closer to the time when the stew is going to be ready. So first off, you're going to have to boil your potatoes. Quick reminder, you start in cold water, you add a little bit of rock salt, bring it to the boil and just let them cook for 40 minutes or so until they're really nice and tender. Caramelized onion, very, very easy. You put a pan, medium heat, you take all of your little onions, bang, in the pan. Next, take some water, you basically pour the water all the way just above the onion, nothing more. From here we're gonna add basically two nudges of butter, it's very very simple, and for memory some sugar. I asked you two pinches, like a good amount. When this is done, I'm using a paper lid here, you can take a normal lid if you want, I just like to make paper lid. I've got a video on this, I put a link in the description. And when this is done, you leave it like this. You're gonna wait until the water is totally evaporated. For the next stage, we're gonna brown them a little bit. Okay, when the water is all gone, open your lid and what you find is everything is nice and caramelized. Just give it one stir and then leave it on the side of the stove, ready to serve. Next, we're gonna prepare our bacon. Put a tiny little bit of oil, take all my bacon, straight in. Give it a stir, and we're gonna just simply pan fry it until it's nice and golden. Done. When you got a nice little color, you take your all your bacon and you're gonna reserve it on the side on a paper towel so that all the extra oil is gone away. And now for the mushroom, you use the oil from the bacon, just throw all the mushrooms in and we're going to gently pan fry them in a little bit of fat. Perfect! Mushrooms are done, it's this nice golden color. Just reserve them, same thing on the side with the garnish, with the bacon. For the special butter, same thing, I'm not going to butter, I'm using exactly the same pan. A good amount of butter. And I'm gonna melt this on a very low heat, just making sure I'm getting all of that taste. You can see all the juices from the bacon, the mushrooms, I'm cleaning my pan with the butter. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that mix. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna stir the whole lot and make a nice butter. And that's it. All the garnish is done and now we're going to open our 
beef bourguignon out of the oven and this is what you get look at this it's nice and burn everywhere it's been two hours in the oven and as you can see the sauce is very very thick and very nice actually so from here basically it's just a matter of taking a piece of meat like that look at that that's a nice chunk beef and basically with the knife and as you can see see it almost falls apart it's totally and beautifully cooked from here what we're gonna do for the last step we're gonna fish out all these pieces of meat one by one and you're gonna put them on the side dish okay when this is done you're gonna filter all your sauce into another clean dish so we just get that nice sauce without all the residues the carrot and the onions and when that's done we're gonna serve beautiful guys so we're all done so for that hearty comfort meal how do we serve it i'm going to show you the french show when it's really done you take a dish like this for one or two people you take actually pieces of the meat that's how you have to serve that that dish so you start uh, with the meats it's a bit of a stacking game you know so you make the base you know even when you're at home you know there's no nothing wrong with that and add a bit more because that's the kind of the food you just do at home so it looks a bit dry and of course because we've got the gravy is actually separated from the rest so you start with your meat you know chuck a bit of gravy on there not too much it's not a soup okay and from here basically you're gonna start to add all these little things to make it nice so a few of these mushrooms that we've cooked earlier make it nice huh? and what about one little there yes and then of course we like bacon I mean I like bacon but not too much you know it's up to you really you, you, know, you take whatever you want you want a bit of bacon oh yeah okay I'll have that what about this uh, nice caramelized onions oh yeah I would like that as well so up you know you take a few here and there you don't take everything because I need to <laughs> leave some for me Okay, and when you have this, I'm gonna finish my potatoes on the back with a little bit of that uh, garlicky butter, you know, to have a nice coat on the, on the potatoes. It's always nice, you don't want them too dry for a bit of taste. And you're gonna finish just with a little bit of that parsley mix everywhere. Huh? To make it nice and, uh, and attractive so it's really a little game like that you make something simple for yourself it's nothing too fancy but basically that's it this is a home buff bourguignon made in a traditional way if you want you don't have to go through all this you can serve everything all together in a plate but this is how it's done so that's it guys i hope you enjoy the comfort food a sunday meal and i hope to see you on the next video of course subscribe comment and i'd like to see you all next time on my next show. Bye-bye!